Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint it with the stress of everyday life. We've got a little Molly sitting over there. Hello Molly. <laughs> so today I've decided I'm going to paint on an acrylic pad. It's basically uh, a card. Um, this is 140 pounds, 300 grams, um, 14 by 10, uh, 355 by 255 millimeters. It's acid free. And yeah, I just thought I'd have a go at this for a change today. Um, and the, the joy of acrylics is the fact that you could paint really on cardboard paper. You don't have to have canvas to, to be able to paint. Although the process of applying acrylic paint is a little bit different per um, surface you're painting on um, or substrate. Um, in this case, it's paper. So paper is going to be very, very absorbent. So I can use a lot of water. It doesn't matter. Um, I have put a little bit of gesso on there. You don't have to do that. You can paint directly onto it because it is sealed with a sealer. It's designed specifically for acrylic paints. And um, yeah, so let's just have a little bit of fun. I thought today I'm going to paint a little bit of a landscape. Guys, I've got Molly sitting over there. I've got Molly sitting over there. How are you, Molly? You sleeping? You big girl. <laughs> She's looking at me saying, what are you on about? So I got a little bit of process blue. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of that process blue then. You can see that if I put it on really thin, like watercolour, it works really well. Now what you've got to remember with this is that it's going to dry a rapid, rapid, ra rapid, rapid, rapid. If you want to play around with something like a watercolour or something like that, and I'd suggest you just practice and have a little play with a little bit of acrylic on paper like this. And it just gives you an idea. It's not going to be the same, but it just gives you that idea of how it's going to work and manipulate. And if you can, if you can use acrylics, like watercolors or oils, then you're on a winner. But you don't want to put this on too thick. There you go. We don't want to put it on too thick. I want to put. A, I want to bring a little bit more this blue into this sky. Just building it up like this. I absolutely love acrylics. The ability to be able to use these like you would with oils and watercolors and washes and all these other things that we paint with just opens up a whole world of imagination for us the imagination process for us the thing is with watercolors they they're quite um, fugitive in a way that they will fade over time so if you expose uh, a watercolor painting to too much light then it's going to fade and disappear and basically the the light the, the sunlight bleaches bleaches out the, the pigments of the paint whereas acrylic being um, a plastic base you don't get that so you, but you can still get that watery paint that watercolor painting feeling by just using acrylics like this You can get that lovely wispy type of sky. That we see sometimes, there we go. Just put a few little doers here and there like that. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna bring this down like this. bit of that down there like that, a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue down here. Just a little bit. Make it look a little, maybe a little bit like water. Just like that. We could have some water there. I'm 
one of the walks I go on with Mori sometimes is um, I go into a local um, field and stuff and they used to have a, um, like a, what they used to call an iron ore mine there was an a iron ore mine there many many moons ago so I'm just bringing in a bit of green now just like that a little bit of light green that's hooker's green and cadmium yellow by the way if in case you're interested so I'm just going to bring in a little bit more yellow this side If you're plein air painting, then this could be the way to go. Plein air means painting outdoors, but this could be this could be the way to go. It really could be because it'll dry quick, and you can get your painting down. When you're painting outdoors, you need to paint reasonably fast in the beginning. You need to get the sky, capture the sky you're looking for, capture that sky that you're looking for. That's what I tend to do anyway. I'm going to put a, a line across there like that. That's nice. Maybe put a bit of this down. A little bit of dark green, just plain old ochre's green. Let's just give it a bit of reflection in the water area. There we are. Let's get a little bit of this white and Move that across there like that, a little bit of that blue. It'll all make sense. It will all make sense. There you go. <laughs> How easy is that? It's quite surprising, really, that you can have a little bit of fun with a little bit of paint. A marvellous scene. And here away. What we need to do now, we need to concentrate. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a bit too much. I'm just trying to get... this scene because I want a banker come along there like this so I'm just getting the bones in place there we go just the bones just the bones in place there we go so we got that scene that wonderful scene right, I'm gonna just the rest of my brush there. I'm going to get a little brush. I need a little brush that I can do some trees with. I'm going to pick this brush. I'm going to go back into this green. Lovely colour. I'm going to put some trees and things in the background just like this. There we are, a little bit of dark under there. Bleeding that in there like that. Maybe. Let's get that. A little bit darker in front of that again now. Just tap in the brush. Why 
well it's a wonderful way to paint you could do quite a f a magical things with acrylics You've got to think a little bit what trees do, what do trees look like and things. You don't overdo sometimes. I'm just thinking now, I'm just thinking. Maybe. A little bit of highlight on this tree there. Like that. A bit of burnt ember. A bit of burnt ember. Maybe we can get our brush and Okay, let's get some more trees. bushes Burned umber, bit of burned umber. What's like that? Shush. <laughs> Just enjoy and have fun. Put a bit of highlight on this tree. And quite simple, I try to make my paintings for YouTube quite simple because I want people to be able to paint my paintings. I don't want people to go, oh wow, he's a brilliant artist and all that. What I want to do is get in, encourage people to paint my paintings rather than be in awe of my skills because it's not easy to to paint simple paintings sometimes okay so how is that looking we got a, we got a few trees there we got a few trees there wonderful 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 I'm gonna get another brush and I want to concentrate on this side now Again, I'm going to get some dark green. I'm going to put in just a, a blotch of color like this. Possibly just a bunch of trees there. A little bit of light coming through the background there. And 
something and just I'm going to introduce a little bit of burnt ember as I come down just to darken that mass up just like that Trying to paint on, trying to paint on paper is not easy sometimes. I'm going to add a little bit of white into this mix. I want to lighten that up a bit. Bring that down. A bit more light. Maybe there's a bit of sunlight coming through there like that. And is there gonna be a little bit of light there? Let's glint in through. What a wonderful type of scene that is. So I, d I didn't want to create a lot of distance. I just want to create, um, I just want to create a very close scene, like as if I'm, I don't want to see distance. I don't want to see mini little tiny mountains and things. Um, I'm thinking maybe tree like that. We want to put a little bit of this darkness of tree down here. Trying to create a reflection there maybe or two. Let's get a bit Make this a little bit bigger, I think. A bit of grass on the banks there, just like that. Get some light on this side. So we need to lighten this up a bit now. Put a bit of lighter color. Just a reflection there. Let's get my brush that I painted that tree with originally. Oh, the bunch of trees. We've got a bunch of trees here. A little bit of light coming in. And then maybe sparkle that up just a touch with a little bit of white. A little bit of white. Not too much. Maybe just bring a little bit of light in. Get a few. 
let's just make the let's just make that a little bit lighter. There we go. Let me just make that a little so you can see these the branches or something there. Like there we are. Maybe in the distance. There we go. And maybe in the distance. Let's just wash that. Okay, so what I want to do now is let's get some more of this lovely paint. Put some light coming in. Like that. Get a bit of shadow color. Put a bit of texture in there. Let's what if we put a Maybe just a few little bits and pieces there. Just like that. A little bit of sparkle. add a little bit of texture or something there. What I want to do is get some of this green and burnt umber. I want to put a definite line across. Maybe it's a bit of earth or something there. Now I'm go I'm bordering on making stuff up that isn't there <laughs> as we do our as artists we do that i'm just trying to get some maybe soil or something coming down maybe maybe there's cows in the field and they've been coming down for a drink there I'm just darkening it up just a touch like that. I haven't got any black, so I don't want to use black. Quite dark there. Get a script lining brush. I'm just going to get some of this white. I want to put a little paint line, a water line. What's on there like that? a few minor reflections in the water and all that does is break that up and give you the impression that it's wet it's a little bit of reflection there we could do some Nice. See if I can get this right. I want to get some very th light. Sometimes you've got to use a lot more water than you think.
could be just I don't know what that is. It could be anything, couldn't it? It just 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 to give it a little bit of umph, really. Let's get some dark, dark colour. Actually, we could put some reeds in here. Yeah, we got reeds. These are good. I didn't plan on putting reeds in, but now we have. Put some. reads in there like that. This is sometimes how paintings are made. We don't plan on things, they just happen. There we go. So we've got some reads in there. Um, I can get a little bit of this white paint now and just put a little bit of Reflection just over that green and I've just placed down there like that And then we could get some white paint We could make these into little bulrush things there we go Sometimes you get fluff on these things All you can see is the fluff It makes for a good painting there we are. So we got some reeds don't forget to put the water reflections in just like that I quite like that area there that tree's looking okay actually I could just darken that side up just a touch I think maybe I use this brush A bit of burnt umber, put some shadow in. That's it now. We could get our brush that we done the trees with now and put some grass in. Walk some more reeds. Some more reeds here. Somewhere the, the ducks can have their little eggs and they bring their little baby ducklings up. Some burn them back. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I quite like that. So I'm going to get some this lighter green now. Get a bit of this dark green. Maybe just put a few. Some pieces just around like that, just to break that area up a touch. Making sure everything is recording. Okay, so we want to get some of these bulrush leaves in. So we want to put a bit of highlight in, some dark. Let's get some burnt umber 
and green. Put the leaves in like this. Push them in there. Let's get some light the colour. Plenty of water. A few highlights. Just like that. Get some of this burnt amber now. Big lumpy lumps of paint that lot because these are the bulrushes. You paint as many as you want. I'm just going to do a few just to show you. Get a bit of that white. And then we put a little bit of this white on. Because what they do, they, 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 they're they a little bit like dandelions. They, 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 they get this fluff on them and then the wind comes along, blows them like this. And then they float up in the air. They go on land and then they make more bulrushes. That's what they do. Get some of this blue, you could put some uh, corn flowers or something just to break it up. Just add a little bit of colour, blue and green, wonderful compliments there. Blue and green, because they're next to each other on the colour wheel, there we go. A little bit, a bit of colour there like that. If you had a little bit of red, you could have a little bit of red in if you wanted to. Let's just get this. Let's get a bit more white, put a few more. Wonderful, wonderful reflections in the water. And then we've got a scene that we should be really happy with. It's one of our first possible paintings. Just to give you an idea of what you could do with a little skill and a lot of love. So don't forget to try. Try something like this. Just just have a go. And if you've got a little tiny little bit of skill, you can paint that no problem at all. I've tried to make it as easy as I possibly could do and give you a lot of ideas and a lot of techniques in that. But give it a try and I'll see you next time.